The wine skull Sokato is because there's three trigonometric ratios, sin, cos, and tan. So the basics. The basics is that we need to know which one's the hypotenuse, which one's the adjacent, and which one's the opposite. So the hypotenuse will always be opposite the right angle. Okay, so whatever you do, the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. If you've got a question like this, therefore, that will be the adjacent, and that will be the opposite, because is the opposite of the missing angle or the angle given. But if the question was in such way, now this and the bottom one will be the opposite and that will be the adjacent. So that's the main thing about uh, trigonometry, making sure that you actually label it correctly. So the hypotenuse for this is which one? So if you want to pause this, it'll literally take us one minute. So pause it and here's the answers. So that should be the answers for it. Uh, same again if you want to label opposite adjacent hypotenuse. If you know what you're doing, skip this. Okay, I'm going to go through the answer straight away. So these are the three things that we're going to be using in the calculator. Okay, are not things, ratios, sin, cos, and tan. If you want any practice, okay, you probably have used this before anyways in year nine. Uh, just simple practice, okay? Pause the video if you think you want to try any of these. And here are the answers. This is what you should have. So for this one here, for a lot of people, you know, the way to get this would be cos minus one of 0 0.559, if anyone's actually asking. And that would give you 56. So... Sokatoa uh, in trigonometry works in exactly the same way as the speed distance time triangle works in science. So we don't need to do this by knowledge, okay? You've done so much work uh, on Pythagoras, so we're going to skip this one. If anyone wants to try it, you could. So let's look at this question here, okay? Step one. Step one will always be making sure that you label, okay? So opposite the hypotenuse is the so opposite, opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. That's where level is H. Then you've got adjacent and opposite. So you ask yourself two questions really, okay? What have you got and what are you trying to find? Well, you've got the value of H and you're trying to find the value of the value of P, which is A, which is the adjacent. So that's why we've circled because this is the one with the two ticks. So therefore, adjacent is cos times hypotenuse, which gives us 6.30, which gives us 6.30 uh, in three significant figures. So again, pause this video and try this question. So you should have picked so for this one. 7.62. Yet again, now you're trying to find AC. You should have picked tan. And you've got 18.6. So, finding missing angles, okay? Missing angles are a bit trickier, but as long as you remember you're using these. When you've got missing angles, you need to make sure that you remember to use tan minus one, cos minus one, sin minus one. By the theory, is exactly the same thing we're using exactly what we've just done earlier. If you want to practice, if you put sin minus 1 of 0.9, you'll get 64.2 and so on. So, same again for this question here. Let's have a look. Uh, you've got hypotenuse, you've got adjacent, and you've got opposite. So, you're trying to find out this angle. So, if I was to write Sokotoa, what have you got and what are you trying to find? Well, what have you got? You've got H and A. So I would actually have to use ka. So cos equals opposite of a hypotenuse, sorry, adjacent of a hypotenuse. So cos minus one of adjacent of a hypotenuse would actually give me the correct answer that I wanted. So it's really, really important that you're actually working out the minus one because you're actually trying to find out the angle, uh, which is six over eight. 
should give you 41.4 to three significant figures, as you can actually see here. Same again if you want to pause the video and try this question. Work out the size of RPQ. So which one's RPQ? So remember, the middle letter represents which angle you're trying to find. So we're trying to find that one there. You've got hypotenuse and you've got adjacent. So, so Kato again. you got hypotenuse, you've got adjacent, so I would have to use cat. So cos minus one of adjacent of a hypotenuse in order to work it out. The length of a diagonal of a square is 17 meters. Find the side length of the square. So a bit of a problem solving question here. Uh, so you've got a square and you know the diagonal is 17 centimeters. Find the side of the length of the square. Now, what else do you actually know here? Well, you know that because A is a square, 45 and 45, because it was 19 and 19. You can use that and actually just solve this question. A ladder leans against a wall at an angle of 75 degrees from the ground. The ladder is four, four meters long. What height does it reach up the wall? So you're trying to work out this angle here, this side here. So try again. A boat sails due east from the harbour H, Jamaica, for 15 miles away. Make a sketch of the trip and calculate the bearing of the harbour from the lighthouse to the nearest degree. So pause the video and do a sketch. If you've done the Pythagoras one, it's exactly the same. And you're trying to work out. So the angle L is 6.9, 6, 6 but we want the bearing. So therefore it's 293. Remember bearings measured at three figures and measured on the right measure clockwise. Same again, pause the video for us. An angle will be 52. It takes from RAF Pannington. It flies 430 miles north. It turns left. So make a sketch of the flight. So pause it and make a sketch of this flight. So this is what you should have. So cos P is 41, so angle P is 50, 41. So bearing is 180 plus 41, 221. 